Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, in this video, we're going to give you an update on how the maple sugar operation is going here in Oak Mountain. Um, we had a storm here over the last couple of days. It started with snow and it ended with freezing rain. And we thought we better get back and check the cans. So uh, we did pull in about 35 liters of sap off of the next uh, bit of footage that you're gonna see. And uh, over the next couple of days, we'll collect some more sap and then we'll get a boil going on the evaporator. Stick around. Like somebody better get their snowshoes on. That snow is still pretty deep. Oh, that's what we like to see when we come to a can. That's uh, that's a quite a bit of sap for a day and a half run. Very nice to see. Karen's getting a little experience driving the side by side. Now this is a really bad trail in the spring all of the water off the side hills runs right down in here but it's a great place for the sap to run so it's another reason why we got the machine with tracks Hey guys, so uh, this is the second day that we're out collecting sap and uh, this is probably like a day and a half run and it looks like we're going to get a lot of sap out of this uh, session, so that's great. Okay guys, this is probably our most full can yet. And one thing I like about these plastic cans is you can see the level right in them, but uh, that is a nice bunch of sap. This tree is a little provider. Wow guys, there's 40 liters off of 19 taps. We're gonna get a lot of sap today. Okay guys, that's uh, 30 taps and 65 liters of sap. So I didn't bring enough jugs. We've gotta go back to the sugar shack and drop these off and get some more. You just never know when it's sap season. Today didn't look like a good day for sap running to me and here we are collecting kind of a bumper crop off the trees today. So you just never know.
Okay guys, so this is the little uh, drill pump that we purchased for, I think it was around $20, and I thought I'd take a gamble on it. But uh, you just hook it up to probably a cordless drill. I have an electric power drill that I wasn't using, so I elected to hook it up to that. And uh, a couple of 10 foot hoses here, garden hoses. And basically, um, this thing is self priming, and you just stick it in your bucket and pull the lever. You can hear it going into the barrel up there already, into the head tank. Okay guys, here we go, time trial. Fifty-eight seconds. Fifty-eight seconds. So that's uh, twenty liters a minute. That's pretty good flow rate. Okay, guys. So here we go. We have about one hundred and twenty-five liters of maple sap up in our head tank in our barrel, and you can see that I've got a pipe down here through a little piece of garden hose and trickling in to my two by four pan on the homemade evaporator. Um, I've got about an inch of sap in there to start because you never want to start your pan dry, you'll burn it out. Uh, and then I'm going to trickle this in. And if I have things set up right, once the boiler gets going, I should be able to evaporate somewhere between 16 to 20 liters an hour. So that's a pretty good rate. So our plan tonight is to boil down for about three hours and then we're going to slow the fire down and flood the pan and let it sit overnight. We'll collect sap again tomorrow and finish off and see how much syrup we get. Here we go. Now I figure it takes about 30 minutes for me to get a fire going and get uh, the sap hot enough up in the pan to get a boil started. So we'll see how we do. You can see that things are heating up here now and uh, it won't be long until we get a boil going. And once we get a good bed of coals in here, it's as simple as us sitting and tending the fire and maybe stoking it every 10 or 15 minutes to keep the flames up pretty close to the pan. Okay guys, here comes the boil. Just take a listen. Won't be long now. Okay guys, there it goes. We've got a boil. We can see it roiling inside. We got a nice steady stream of fresh sap coming in and uh, we won't be any time and we'll be evaporating this down. I'm so glad we built this sugar shack. Listen to that wind blow outside. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so we used the big evaporator to take our sap down to about 25 liters of volume. And then we put it in this propane finisher to take it down even further before we bring it in the house. Okay guys, so uh, we've let this cool down now. And uh, I don't finish the syrup right here in the sugar shack. We like to take it down, um, you know, as far as we can on propane, but we find that we have better control on the electric range in the kitchen in the house. So my work is done. Karen's going to take this now and she's going to take it to 219 degrees Fahrenheit, which should be uh, pure maple syrup. And then she'll do the bottling and filter it through uh, a coffee filter to get all of the sugar sand out and bottle it up. And then we'll be on to the next batch. Okay, so we've already got another boil going on here. This is about 260 liters of sap that we've been processing through. And uh, we're actually, we don't have a hard boil. We're going to shut down tonight and we're going to start again tomorrow. We need a little break. Um, so, you know, this is an endless cycle. 
and you never know when the sap is going to stop running out there with those maples so you got to make hay when the sun shines anyway uh, we're having a lot of fun doing this i think we're up to about 15 liters of syrup now and this will be extra on top of that so it's looking really good and we're having a lot of fun like i said anyway guys if you like our videos and you want to see more of them hit that like button hit the subscribe button share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one, guys.